Foods Guru, where barbecue and grilling is made tasty. So I'm Brandon Tanner, and today we've got a really good treat for you. We're going to do a brisket. So this is one of our favorite cuts of meat, you know, um, and this is a really simple, straightforward, easy way to do brisket. If you've done it before, this is maybe a way to try it. If you've never done it, this is a pretty simple way to do it. Um, so anyways, if you like this type of content, please like, comment, and subscribe. We really appreciate the support. It's been great. Um, so in this particular case, well, this is about a 16 pound brisket and I trimmed it up and so you know if you get brisket and things like that uh, if you have a lot of silver skin on it or that real hard hard fat you know on the outside or other places I trim all that off clean it up wash it off and then you got a really nice cut of meat and so you know in this particular case I'm actually going to be cooking it with the fat side down um, putting that on the grate basically and then we're going to wrap it with uh, pink butcher paper after about six hours and I'm going to have a, I use the Gateway, uh, Thermalworks Gateway uh, smoke um, deal for doing the time and temperature and all that stuff. So I'll try to post, you know, the different times and temperatures because I know that's what people always ask. So I'll try to, you know, post that stuff too, both down below and, you know, as it goes to the video. So you'll have that so you can kind of see at what temperatures and what times, that kind of stuff. Um, I'm shooting for kind of a later deal the next day, so I'll probably start it out at 225 for six hours and then turn it up to 250 after I wrap it. And, you know, that should probably be, oh, who knows, another, you know, five to six hours or something along those lines. And then I'm a big proponent of resting the meat for a couple hours um, to really let it kind of, you know, uh, get itself put back together. So anyways, um, and this is really straightforward, easy rub. To put on this is just simply marvelous pepper cow so any brisket rub that you really like I like to add a little bit of the Saskatchewan on it because that gives a little bit more of a texture a little bit of a grit to it and so that's just the two seasonings and I'm not doing anything else to it other than that and um, you know really looking forward to this this stuff turns out great so anyways with that I'll get to putting the rub on it and we'll go from there and I like to get mine I like to get the rub and stuff put on and I like to rest mine overnight um, in a container like this. I put it in the refrigerator and I don't wrap it or put anything over it. That's just how I like to do it. I wouldn't do anything less than two hours as far as getting your rub you know, put on there and you might want to put it at room temperature if you're going to do it if you don't have the time. And then um, you know, I'll put it in. I like, to, I like to start smoking stuff at night so I'll put it around midnight and then go through the next morning and that way it gives me time to either slow it down, speed it up, depending on what my temperatures are doing. So we'll get to put it on the rub. All right, so before we get our brisket going and get it set up for a nice long smoke, uh, folks ask me very consistently, you know, one of the questions we get almost all the time is, you know, time and temperature, and then what do you use to monitor that? So I kind of wanted to go into that briefly just so folks know, you know, my preferences, and you've probably seen me use it in reference to this in other videos, but uh, the thermal work smoke is really, really good from my perspective, so that's these two units. And then the smoke gateway is a piece that allows you to see it on your phone or tablet and that way you can monitor it and it's got alarms and other things along those lines. Um, but what I really like about that is the way that you can graph and see how something performed. Here's how the, you know, here's how the smoker performed at these temperatures, you know, what you had set up versus what kind of the actual temperature is right by the meat. And then, you know, how does the meat perform, you know, what is, how long does it take to get where it needs to get to. And so then I have a reference in the library for me that I can always go back to to go, Last time I did a pulled pork, it was like this, and these are the temperatures. Um, so anyways, just a big proponent of this. Really good. So pretty soon we're gonna get this this uh, brisket on and, and start monitoring how it goes.
All right, so as you saw, we've got the brisket rested in the cooler down in the pan, kept it wrapped, just put it right in there. I'd like to let them rest for, you know, minimum two hours. If you don't have the time, I understand, but boy, it sure makes a big difference. And, you know, you can do it longer up to like four hours too. Um, and then you can always move it into like, you know, an oven for a little while if you gotta keep it warm at 170 or something like that. But this thing's gonna be delicious. It smells great, looks great. I actually slowed it down after the first basically six, seven hours after I wrapped it because it was moving along pretty quickly and uh, some of the folks are coming a little bit later than we thought. So I turned it down to 180 for about two hours just to kind of slow it down a little bit um, and then turned it back up to 225 and basically got to where I wanted it to before I pulled it. And so that turned out to be a total before I pulled it about 13 hours. Could have done it in 10 or 12 really easy. If I'd have done, you know, kept it either 225 or gone up to 250 after the first six hours. So. Again, it's just kind of managing your times, but when you're able to rest it like this and you've got a period of time where I look at it from you know two to four hours of resting, when it's wrapped, put in the cooler, that type of stuff, it really gives you some flexibility. So, you know, highly recommend that. Um, we'll take some pictures as we you know carve it up tonight and as we're eating it, and I'll share share those as well, as well as the graphs and all that stuff. So really hope you enjoy this video. If you like this type of content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Here's a, you should have told me. <laughs>